Ewusa, God's own people. I welcome you to my community, Ewusa, with the finest people you can find anywhere in the world. What you can see is the Uposa festival ceremony. It's a ceremony that gathers all the people together and kings from different lands in order to celebrate our ancestors. This event is held by the energy of Ewosa Kingdom. His show your majesty, Kelvin Osio the first. This event covers a series of days in the end of the year, where on the 25th is the Iduji. This is where the king go around the community paying tribute to the ancestors and to his people. What you're experiencing right now is Iyama, which is held on the 26th of December. This is when the Onuji invite all the town to come on for a feast in his palace. It's a great experience here, happy for people see, with music performance by the great barbarians, cultural dances, a bobonani there's mask with display coming to entertain the people. I'm proud and happy coming from my community, Ewosa. And I want to say that Asians are not bad people. Asians are lovely people. My name is uh, Steven Sino Jackson, I'm a DJ. Born in Ewosa. 67 years ago, at Eguari, Ewosa. I grew up in this community, I was brought up here. I attend the famous St. Peter's College Primary School, Ewosa Nag, Eguari Primary School. Then after some time, I later go to Nguambo for one year, Nigma Primary School for one year. Before proceeding to a school called Rumi Technical College, where I graduated in 1981. Where I graduated in 1981. In 1982, August, I joined the famous Ajakuta State Company Limited. As an electrician. And I worked for there, I worked there for that five years and retired as a senior electrician. After my retirement, I come back to my community and build my house and stay in my community. That was 2018 March. But at 2017, throughout, I retired in August, I was I was in Iwosa, building my house. At you know, just house. Moja de Quarter, Eguari Ewosa. So, uh, oh, yeah, but I was a coach. Oh, yeah, I get you. But I got on our level this tradition. Jesus said in the Bible that we should give one belt to Caesar to Caesar. All right, here Thank you very much. God bless you. Oh, all right. I was a migrated from Benin with the B, Ikimi, and Atu. Ikimi is their senior brother. This, that Ikimi founded a town called Ewohimi. And uh, Osa was the 
General Bradley Hume, who founded EWOSA, while Atu was their junior brother to half brother who formed my Watu. Ibiri is now in data state that they come together from Benin. And coming together from Benin, EWOSA form, OSA form EWOSA, OSA form EWOSA, and OSA, uh, EWOSA was one of the first indigenous Asian towns. To be, to be a king because of they were the first people to go to the palace of Oba Abinin and receive the Ada and Ebe and brought them to Ewosa. So after that, Ewosa grew up progressively. They form the villages that form Ewosa are eight villages. Eight villages. Egware, Idumega, Kokogwe, Idogo, that is Ogbenene. We call them, we call that group Ogbenene. Idogbe, Idoliha, that is called Ujelu. Kekiara, it's another entity that we join Ujelu group. Then we have Idongbo and Idongbo as Idnegu. Those are the towns that form Ewosa. The traditional seat of Ewosa is still situated at Egwari, and that is the palace of Onuje of Ewosa. The present Onuje now is His Royal Highness Usiho the First, Kelvin Usiho the First, your Onuje of Ewosa. <laughs> I was a man, one of the hospitality towns, most hospitality town in the whole of the locality because it has hosted so many people, both big and According to my father, he said St. Peter Iwosa was founded in 1918. Almost every corner of the Asian community come to here to school. And most of them are still alive now at their age. But the Iwosa has been very hospitable to people. And the first Catholic church that was found in Iwosa at that time was founded in 1918. During the time uh, Father Kobo was in Oruna. Then Father Kumbo was ruled. And then we have had so many people because there was a time uh, St. Peter was the only school in uh, in uh, EEE district. Now St. Peter now grew up and uh, the later on we have uh, St. David Anglican School, the Negma Ewosa. We have St. Ben, uh, Bernard at Ikokogwe. And we have Elie Primary School at Ujil. All these schools now are now renamed. St. Peter is now a Gwari Primary School at Wosa. St. Bernard is in uh, Ogbe Primary School at Wosa. Why uh, St. David is in the uh, uh, Primary School at Wosa? Why, uh, why uh, Elie now remain Ujil Primary School at Wosa? Then, in that course of education, Ewosa has go a very far and wide in striving for education of his people. To our honorable teacher, who I always recognize as my father, Mr. S.P. Ehari, who bring Ewosa up in educational footing. Then, on the, law, on the other hand, Ewosa has these very studios. In terms of agriculture, I was, I was very good in it's very good in agriculture. You see, uh, I know I was a very good in typing, palm wine, and I was a remain very steadfast. Most of I was a development I could no, I could put a remarkable note there is done by Wosa. The first hospital that was built and opened 1970 was built by WOSA to safe communities. 
the first borehole, water borehole, that they connected from a Wuhini to a Wusa was done by a Wusa as a community, not as government. But in the first lighting system of uh, electricity, the post, I was al alive, I was around, when the posts were tra uh, carried in shoulder from one place to the other in order to supply light to the community. So the community had not been, had not been so, so greedy in doing things. At present now, uh, was a Eguari Ewosa started to start from, I started the uh, uh, concrete full electricity in Ewosa. Uh, Kokobwe has, Eduenga has already electrified their place through solar system that works, that provides street light for them. Kokobwe has done so. Eduongo uh, has done so, Ujelo has done so, and uh, Eduongo has done so. Eguari is still working towards it. Eguari is going to do their own in a way. Because why Eguari is de delaying? Not because of anything, because we want to know how many poles, how many lights that will be installed in the water, in the quarry. When we finish once and for all, then we will not know anything. And we have a WhatsApp platform, a Gwari Ewosa Association. Every Ewosa person, a Gwari person who like to, to produce the items for the, the, de the development of a Gwari in a Ewosa, we surely do so, and God will continue to bless every one of you in Jesus' name. Your development we need in Ewosa mostly is our roads are bad. Mostly the early uh, local uh, local government roads linking Ewosa to Ewohimi Road through Kekiara. It needs. Everybody should think about it because the road is bad and it's a short road that link Gwari uh, Ewosa Ewosa to Ewohimi. Before before you reach Ekmont, before you go down to Ewohimi, you might have followed that road to Ewohimi. And we need uh, people, I thank God, I thank so many Ewosa people who have decided to build boreholes for Ewosa community. Both some are in Kokogwe, Dungo, Dunga. Many people have started building Boho. With the presence of two that we were using before by Mr. Otevi, somebody by God will continue to bless him. He make us not to suffer for water for so long before Jami and the Kuku build their own. But they are government owned that they built, that they never see, we know they, they not see, see water. And uh, it needs government intervention to, to mobilize and repair those ones. These ones are not enough. People are still trying to build their own individually. Then like IAMU has his own, another um, honorable, honorable uh, the commissioner for agriculture at the state has, his, has one at the Dojewa too. We need water and we need more development. I will need the Wosa people to be coming in into this town and start organizing one business or the other. Because most of our problem here now is that we don't have stable business. If you want to buy beauty material now, you either go to Bile Agbo to buy beauty material. And I was are people supposed to try in this dispensation, both in the hospital. Both in diaspora and at home, to make sure see, we don't suffer too much. And if a, if a billion man is coming home to do any party, he will only come with his ATM. If a was come, we'll be looking for every money to go transport ourselves to a billion to buy most of our, all these things. A was should try. Right from time, a was market is one of the biggest markets in the whole Then a was should try to help us 
both in diaspora. I will advise anybody in diaspora or outside should not listen to people that that uh, this thing is happening in Ewosa because Ewosa is wicked. No. Some people are using it as a yardstick to deprive you of your right at home. But some people are saying it in one way or the other. But it's living in Ewosa. He who lives in Ewosa and tells you that Ewosa has which Ewosa has this. Uh, he is just trying to deceive you. Come and build your house. People are coming home to build their house. Come and live in a water. That is my advice. Thank you so much. Sir, what's your name again? Uh, Stephen Odije, popularly known as Eno Jasu at a water. Thank you so much.